And Rob did a great job of acknowledging all the partners, all the people that brought us here. I just want to mention a couple that uh, I don't want them to be missed, because everyone that he mentioned, uh, ex you know, is part of this process, that, and it's been a long journey. But I want to uh, give a big shout out to my Secretary of Administration, Jeff Spaulding, who uh, has been, along with Patrick Flood and uh, with Mary, have been managing a, a, a system that's in crisis. We all know that. When we lost our hospital in the middle of the night, uh, we all know that right now we're delivering mental health services in a, in a system that is literally flying by the seat of our pants. And the Retrieve has been an extraordinary partner in ensuring that uh, we haven't been met by real tragedy and real crisis. And, you know, I should take this moment to remind us that our providers, uh, our uh, law enforcement folks, judiciary, uh, and most importantly our patients, uh, are in a system right now uh, that uh, doesn't dignify the quality of care that they should be getting. And what this celebrates this moment is one more step in the process and the goal of getting us to the community-based delivery system that we've all dreamed about. Mental health patients, as we know, are no different than all of the patients who are being served in our health care delivery system in Vermont with extraordinary uh, quality. They want treatment close to home, and they want treatment that's the very best quality. And one of the things that's always troubled me as a Wyndham Countyite, and I know that there are people in this room who've been on this journey with us for a long time. I will never forget sitting down with uh, Julie Peterson, who was then chairing the board. I know she's in the back. And uh, Jeanette White, who's been an extraordinary advocate for the evolution of this partnership with the state. And then it was Patty O'Donnell, who was in the legislature at that time, and so many other people in this room. And we were asking the question, why is it that Wyndham County has a world-renowned delivery system for mental health, and yet the state doesn't partner with them for those services? We also knew that if we could finally deliver community-based care and only chronic care when most necessary close to home, we would have a much stronger system and a more rapid recovery period. Now, mental health patients aren't different than those suffering from kidney disease, heart disease, cancer, or any of the other diseases that we all confront. They want to be close to home. They want to be near their family. So what this system will do when we're done is to provide the community-based, advocate-included, consumer-included community care. And when we need chronic beds, we'll have them in Brattleboro, Rutland, Berlin allowing people to stay as close to home as possible. That's a better system. Now, I'm often asked, well, Governor, you know, what, uh, why is this all necessary? Let's not forget that when Irene hit us and when we were led into this very tough period that we're in, having lost our, our hospital, hey, CMS had decertified that hospital 10 years ago. I read a little bit in the press about CMS, you know. I mean, my God, give us a break. They ask us questions about where we're headed. Let's not forget where we were. We were in a CMS condemned delivery system for a decade that cost Vermont taxpayers 10 to $12 million every single year in lost revenue because CMS knew that the building was so dilapidated, old, and tired that they wouldn't reimburse us. Governors from both parties, from Governor Cunin to Governor Snelling to Governor uh, Dean to Governor Snelling again, actually. I uh, lost that one in the middle. Uh, and, and Governor Douglas all struggled with this challenge. And when Irene hit, I simply said this. We will find a way to manage through this crisis because of the retreat and so many other providers. We are managing through it in order to achieve the goal that we've always wanted to achieve. Facilities and quality of care matched serving the needs of our most vulnerable patients in the state of Vermont. So this is a huge celebration. And I want to say I think it represents a new era, I hope, in retreat state relations that simply says this. We recognize as the state that you are the preeminent mental health delivery system not only for Vermont, but for the country. And we want to integrate your skill, your talent, your leadership into our state delivery system, as well as ensuring that it continues to be a major employer for Wyndham County 
and serve people who are not in a state system. That's a pretty simple concept, but it seems like it's taken us a little while to get there. So let's celebrate uh, this opening today. I feel like I'm kind of up on one of the most beautiful uh, ships overlooking the Retreat Meadows and the Connecticut River where you can't help but feel that, as Rob mentioned, the light, the beauty of the space, and the quality of care is going to assure us that we accomplish more speedy recoveries for those that deserve great care. So thank you to all of you for making this moment possible. We embark on a journey together that I know will continue to expand and grow. We don't pretend that uh, we have accomplished the mission yet because we're still short beds. We're still lurching from uh, uh, crisis to crisis. I'm extremely proud of the work that Patrick Flood and Mary Moulton is now doing to lead us through that crisis in partnership with great people like Rob Simpson. But I want to say this about the retreat. When the chips were down, when we were flooded out, where we had nowhere to turn, the retreat embraced the state of Vermont, took on a mission that was extraordinarily difficult, that many would not take on. I want to make that clear. It wasn't that we only went to the retreat. We asked a lot of providers to help us in our time of crisis. Many did, but the retreat went the extra mile of taking folks <coughs> in 24 hours, opening their doors, reorganizing their delivery system, and ensuring that many of the patients that got flooded out had a great place to go. So from the bottom of my heart, we thank you for the past and for the future. And I want to say to the docs and the providers up here at the retreat in closing, we know that when you get into the public se sector delivery system, uh, you're s more susceptible to scrutiny than you might have been before. And if you doubt that, you know, <laughs> Google my name sometime. <laughs> See what comes up. And all I want to say is, we're with you all the way. There will be times where you'll be frustrated being part of the public delivery system. There will be times where you'll feel that the scrutiny isn't fair. And frankly, Sometimes it's not. But what we can never forget is that the work that you do is extraordinary, that we are with you all the way, and that together Vermont will be, very soon, the best delivery system for mental health services, community diplomatic care in this nation, and we have you to thank for that. So thank you so much. Ready? Here we go. Here we go.